Without wishing to preempt the meetings that are still to be held between a Guyanese delegation headed by President Irfan Ali in Washington, D.C., Minister of Finance Dr. Ashley Singh hinted at major developments and announcements expected to emerge from these meetings. Already, Dr. Irfan Ali has met several top government officials, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Deputy Secretary of Commerce Don Graves, and participated in events with global and hemispheric think tanks at the Wilson Center and Atlantic Council. The President's engagements and that of his delegation, which includes Vice President Dr. Barajak Dio and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, UTAD, go way beyond this. The visit provides an opportunity to follow up on commitments made at the recently concluded Summit of the Americas and areas identified in the shared strategic relationship for attention during President Ali's recent engagement with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Even though the President wears a regional and hemispheric hat when representing issues on which Guyana is providing global leadership, the visit also has a strong bilateral dimension as well. It is against this backdrop that Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh expressed strong optimism about the immediate and longer term outcomes expected to emerge from the visit. This is a visit of the highest level of strategic importance in relation to the, share, the interests that we shared with the United States of America. And it's a visit from which we anticipate very significant, demonstrable and tangible outcomes in advancing our shared interests with the United States of America. To this end, he turned his attention to what he described as fringe elements and usual naysayers seeking to understate the importance of and trivialize the visit. Dr. Singh said the visit had long been planned with those efforts started shortly after Dr. Ali became president in August 2020. As a consequence, the finance minister said those making spurious claims about the visit are demonstrating their lack of familiarity with the nature of relationships between friendly sovereign states. Dr. Singh said the visit also comes at a time when the relationship between Guyana and the United States is at its strongest ever, even as he reminded of the U.S. involvement in fighting for democracy when the APNU AFC refused to give up power after the 2020 elections where it suffered a defeat and only demitted office following sanctions from the United States. I'm amused by the um, attempts to trivialize the visit um, by some of the naysayers, the traditional naysayers who have been offering commentary and you know all that I will say is let us see how the visit evolves and let us see the outcomes that will emerge. Apart from the bilateral agenda, President Ali continues Guyana's leadership on hemispheric issues such as climate change, food security, energy security and financing for development. Dr. Singh reiterated, however, that the United States is a very highly cherished and much valued partner to Guyana and the bilateral relationship is of tremendous strategic importance.